The recent uprise of new 3D movies has not only given cinemas around the globe a boost, but has also gotten the imagination of hobby filmers around the world running wild, wanting to make their own 3D movies. The good news is, now they can. Panasonic. Ideas for now. All right, this is it, the first 3D camcorder for the consumer. <laughs> yes. Can I try it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, check it out. So how can I start filming now? I see a couple of buttons and a couple of adjustments probably. Let can me show, show me? you. Yeah, yeah for please. sure. So the first important part of this camcorder is the landscape itself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing, but we have created here a kind of test picture inside. Okay. And this picture you will need later on to adjust the lens. I can show you if you okay. like. Okay. Yeah? Good, you go to the menu, and within the menu, we do have one point, which is called 3D Conversion Lens Setup. Okay. You choose this one, and then more information will appear. So the first thing what you have to do is to open the lens here, and then you will see three wheels. Uh, you can control now the black bar in the middle, and if it's really centric between the two red ones, it's done. Right. Yeah? Okay. Then you do the same on horizontal base. Yeah, also here, pretty easy to do, done. All right. And only for the last part. This is something where you need to film somebody. Do you like to try? Please, that's what I'm here for. Here you are. All right, I'm gonna make you a star. All right, check it out. You just have to start now. You can push the button and you record now in 3D. But maybe I can give you some advice because when I'm on a distance of 1.5 meter to the lens, I'm in the layer of the screen itself. If I come now closer to the lens, or you record something else, which is closer than 1.5 meter to the lens, you have a real pop-out effect. Yeah, okay, really, okay. coming out of the screen. So that's quite blurry. amazing. I'm filming in 3D right now, but what do I do afterwards? Like, how do I get the movie to be edited, or how do I get it on my TV? Let me show you, please. So we have two options. One option is here, just uh, we have the HDMI terminal. Mm -hmm. You know from your TV maybe. Yep, yep. And then you use your HDMI cable, plug it into this camcorder, start it, play back, and immediately you see on a 3D capable TV, cool. the side-by-side -side format, ABC HD, very easy to play back. Okay. Another option is also you record your movies on an SD card. Wow. And if you take a Viera TV from Panasonic, you can just insert this SD card to your 3D TV and you see the picture. I think it's amazing. A couple years ago, you wouldn't have thought of bringing an own 3D movie yeah. onto an SD card. Cool. Okay. So what else is there about the camera? I mean, what's the pricing? When is it going to be in the shops? When, it can, when can I go buy it? We will have this camcorder available by end of September all over Europe in the shops. And the price will be less than 1,500 euro. That's a pretty good price. And you, you don't only have the 3D camera. Is that all it can do 3D? Or can I do other things with it too? No, even more is possible with this camcorder. So it's quite easy. You just have to detach the lens from the camcorder. Mm -hmm. And then you find a camcorder which looks like the 700 series from us. Hey. So it can record really in 1080, 50p, which is state of the art in for 2D images. Right. And if you want to shoot some still images, it's also possible. With 14.2 megapixels, there's a great resolution. That's cool. Yes. Great. I'm going to go play with it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.